Eighty-five-year-old Richard Seal was assistant organist at Chichester Cathedral, and then later organist and master of the choristers at Salisbury Cathedral. He's kept almost every Southern Cathedral's festival programme since its revival in 1960. Apart from one, I think I've got a complete set now, and it's a wonderful record of what these three choirs have done. The festival began in 1904 and brought together the choirs of Winchester, Chichester and Salisbury. Oh, I like that one. In 1991, I got the choir to adopt exactly the same positions as in 1903 and to look serious as though they were sort of uh, in Victorian times. And <laughs> that was the result. <laughs> the festival was a hit. It flourished in between the wars. I did ask an ex-chorister who'd been in Salisbury in the 1920s to write what he remembered. During the glorious summer of 1921, there were sometimes as many as four cars parked at the top of Chorister's Green. I remember the close constable surveying them with a worried air, clearly concerned with what he would do if a fifth one were to appear. The Second World War and its aftermath interrupted the festival. It lay dormant until the organists got together and decided that they were going to resurrect it, which was wonderful, really. Richard is credited by his former colleagues as being instrumental in the festival's more recent success. Wonderful. And in 1991, the first ever English Cathedral Girls' Choir was founded in Salisbury. By who? Richard himself. This was the first time that girls were on a par, really, with the boys. And little by little, um, and they proved themselves. And it was wonderful to see them getting better and better. Richard's faith in the girls grew, and by 1997 they became a firm fixture in the Southern Cathedral's festival. I'd insisted that they took part in the last concert, and they scrambled up onto the platform, and for the first time there they were with the boys singing together. I don't think the boys were frightfully impressed by that, but um, I was. <laughs> On a high, Richard retired from Salisbury Cathedral that same year. He continued to play the organ, swapping the one in his mighty cathedral for the one in his charming parish church. I still love playing the organ. I knew I wasn't as good as most of my colleagues, um, but I really, really loved the choir side, which meant everything to me, really. Richard's love of choral music continues. And whilst this year's Southern Cathedral's festival is mostly online, He's praying the coveted programme won't be. Hopefully, I'll be sent in the post something that's printed that I can add to my collection. <laughs>